we're just down at the uh, playground. So it's right next to the ocean, and I tell you what, the view from here is next level. Check that out. The colors in that water. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. The color of that water is smick. But anyway, what are you doing? Uh oh. So we found this playground. It is huge. It is actually the one of the biggest playgrounds I have seen yet. That's like one half. Then there's another half over here. And it's just got literally everything. You can spend a whole day here. So the reason I'm down here is I've been flat out today. I'm, uh, I've been cleaning the car, been to the post office. I've gone to Sean and done a couple of things because she's actually uh, editing today. She's at the library. So it's become like a new thing now is going to the library because it's really good for her to just focus, knuckle down and get her episodes done. Because when she can do that, she can punch them out really, really quick. So lately it's only been taking oh, about five hours, sometimes less, punch out an episode. So it's doing really well. So we've decided that that's going to be a bit of a new thing. When we're in towns, obviously when we're free camping is going to be a little bit different. But um, in the meantime, it's been wor working really well. So I'm at uh, daddy daycare today, looking after the kids, getting a few jobs done. So yeah, it's always nice when you have a huge playground like this. Wow. You want to get up there? Can you climb? You can climb. Go on. <laughs> you can do it. He's been getting quite good lately with uh, playgrounds. When we were at Kimberley Land, they had a tiny little playground there and it was like little steps that went up and then a platform and then a slide down the other side. And he literally could climb all the way up and then slide down the slide by himself. And he just went lap after lap after lap. So yeah, gonna get the hang of it again. That's a big step, that's why. Look at the sheer size of this thing. There's ropes, there's slides, there's everything. This is meant to be for you, not for me. Oh, this one's gonna stuff you. How are you gonna do that one? Climb on your bum. That's a big slide, isn't it? Uh, uh. You wanna go down that one? Down you go. Hey. Woohoo! Yeah! Good boy! Come on! Wee! Three, two, one! Three, two, one! <laughs> That's it, look at this. I want to bring a bike and ride this. Straight into a gully, into a berm, back down a gully. And it just keeps going right the way around with jumps and everything. That's how steep it is, Jack has to get on his bum and slide down. Yay, how are we going to go up this side? A bit of sand? Ooh, hang on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good boy. Keep going. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, good work. Bye. Bye. You say bye. <laughs> I think you're gonna be a drilling and junkie, mate. Loves it. Good morning. Just enjoying our morning coffee. Chris has just been making them. And um while he's doing that. 
I was just looking through Instagram. It's obviously not my area, but I saw an important one come in. I haven't told Chris yet. What is it? You ready? <laughs> this must be pretty serious. <laughs> Great Northern Australia. Yeah. Hey mate, you have been producing some quality content. We'd like to show you our appreciation by sending you out something. Can you provide the following details? Hey. Yeah. You just got to... <laughs> <laughs> I've literally got shivers there once more right now. Oh, shivers, there's the shivers <laughs> word. I'm not using goosebumps as Oh my God, it's literally, basically bloody amazing. He's got shivers. I can't believe that. What? How cool is that? I they'll send him. I'm curious. They haven't said All what it is. All his hard work is paying off. I think it might be you guys as well. Like yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of hashtagging and tagging. <laughs> Anytime I put a photo up of a great northern where I try to do as much as possible. So I think it's a team effort. So I'm super curious to see what this is. Can they send a carton through the mail? I wouldn't think so. As much as that would be nice. I don't think it would transport very well. We need to send your details. So we can I'm gonna, I'm figure gonna keep, out. I'm going to keep track of this and we're going to show you guys what it is. Whatever it is. It'll be cool. I am so You might get a, what, oh, but what if he might get a key ring? <laughs> no, I'd surely it's got to be more than that. <laughs> For them to go out of their way and show their appreciation, I'd be great. No, I'd be disappointed if you sent me out a key ring. <laughs> That'd be so average. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. We'll see. Okay. Keep your two, keep your process. How cool is that? Gonna, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day processing that. That's really cool. That's crazy. Oh my God. We might. Well, this is a big step in the right direction. And a lot of people have sent like messages or they've been tagging or they've done hashtags like so many different things hey There's, around you it. guys have actually done really yeah. well for the support sort of things like it was only just a bit of fun and to see what would happen and see if anybody would get involved but because he loves great northern yeah, and then, well, yeah it's become a thing now like typical, we can't let this go. typical aussie that loves his great northern so yeah no i appreciate it guys it just, support's always like amazing so and I, I reckon this might have influenced something. I was just going to say, while we're talking about it, if you haven't had a Great Northern before, you should try one. Yeah, absolutely. See, we're just trying out our advertising now. <laughs> and drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> 18 plus an owner. And just like that, we're on the dirt. So it's not too far until you have to turn off to come to the turn off for where we're going. Um, you're taking the Wheelie Creek Pearl Farm turn off. So it's literally the very first when you come to it and it's your first left. Um, most of it's all bitching right to the top. As soon as you come off that main road, everything goes straight to red dirt. So um, we've just got a little bit a little bit further up the up the road here. I'm just gonna let down a little bit of PSI out of everything. Might leave the back the way it is because there is a bit of weight in the van at the moment and they're sitting pretty nice. But I'll knock a couple of about 10 PSI, maybe 15 out of the back and off the front and see how we go. I've done the front, I've put everything down to roughly about 25. Uh, I've left the rear because it is it is bulging a bit and I've got a bit of weight in the caravan so I'm going to see how that goes. I've got the airbags in the back and I've got them pumped up so that should ride pretty well. Back of the uh, caravan again around that 25 sort of mark so yeah we'll see how we go. There are certain sections as you can probably see through this road here there is corrugation and it does get a bit lumpy there in stages. The worst part of the road is the start of it. Because the further you get up, the, actually the better it gets from what we did the other day. But again, after learning after the Cape, 
it can only take two, three, sometimes a week, and then it just, the whole road changes again. So this is like, is anything that we've learned again from the cave is just take your time, drive to conditions, don't be silly. Otherwise you will break something or something will go wrong. So just take your time, that's all I can say. But what do you reckon, babe? Time to take off, eh? Yeah, I've only wanted to do this for like the last two hours of the morning. <laughs> oh man. We're slowly getting there. Yeah, we're getting slower. It just took us longer for me to get ready than what it normally would, but. Oh yeah, it is what it is. Parenting. Well, yeah, it's parenting and this is we haven't done this for quite some time, so we're gonna get back into the routine. We didn't allow time to let down tires and then we needed more tape to tape up the door. Just yeah. little things. Yeah, because we still don't have a caravan, just so you know. Yeah. We know about it, we know what it does. Potentially getting one very soon. We just haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Easy busy, let's do it. You. going for a walk down so I can watch so I can show you so we made it I'm just going for a quick walk down so I can show you where we're staying and what it looks like and how Chris is gonna get in us out if it was going to be good for us to stay here or not and this was our favorite camp out of all the ones that we went and had a look at so basically where we are if you can see in the distance there's a little like cliff point just here that's James Price Point and then when you just come past there's this nice big flat area here and that's where we decided to set up oh my god check it out so this is us We've been up here for about two hours now, and we just had our mates turn up. They've literally just turned up. So we've got our nice little setup going on. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna swing you around here, and this is the view. It's a shame we can't be a little bit closer to the water. But I'm not complaining, I'll tell you that much. There is a lot of, couple of little spots in between here with like perfect for camper trailers. If we were by ourselves, I'd probably jump down there and take the caravan down, but and saying that too, I don't want to be too close because we've got little Jack. So we've got to be sort of safety conscious and parents and do the right thing to make sure that uh, everybody's safe. So, because the cliff down here is, it's got a fair bit of drop. Like if you were to fall, you'd, you'd hurt yourself. Uh, it wouldn't be probably serious, but it's just nice to avoid it all together. We're not that far. It's literally, oh, not even 20 meters and the water's right there. So at the moment, the tide's actually coming up. I think it's another probably 40 minutes and she'll be full tide. So the tides up here, if you don't know and you know your tides, they get 9 metre tides. It's insane. It wasn't until we started travelling away from sort of Queensland and stuff, you get your sort of 4 metre, 5 metre tides. And then up here, 9 metre tides. Crazy. So I've just walked to the edge here. And this is exactly what we have at our disposal. Are you kidding? Look at this water! <laughs> I have been waiting so long for this. And now we're finally free camping next to the ocean. With beautiful red cliffs around us. This is WA. This is everything that I always thought WA would be. Oh, so good. Cannot wait to show you more of this place. I actually pick up the drone. I actually had a bit of an accident with the drone, if you don't already know. I'm getting a new one sent out, hopefully Monday. So today's Friday, so it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. About three days. I'm gonna get the drone up. I'm gonna show you a heap of this place because from 
what you can see here, it is beautiful, but wait until you can see it from the sky. I'm hanging out for that. Ziggy on, carry inside. Guys are sorting out the fire pit. Got a heap of firewood there earlier. Bit of a pile, we need some bigger stuff, but should do tonight. We can check out the sunset. Unbelievable. Does it get any better? Hey guys! Today we are, well, this is April. Um, but anyways, today we are at a lovely place today. Look at that. Nice sunsets over there. Come on, Jada. I don't know what it's called, on, but it's me, Jada, from Big Oz Explorers, and... Um, Let's go show them our house. And we found a copy that we made, and I will tell you the rest in a minute. But this, this is, is it. it. It's not very much, but it's still what we made. We got some aircon coming through there. We've got little holders. We've got some chairs. We've got little holder holders. holder for our drink bottles. Let's go. And today we are going to be doing a 24 hour in a tent. So, in the tent, say hi. Hi. This is, this is Loz. Say hi, Loz. Hi. <laughs> and that's Anthony. Hi. And this is Jada Cam. Yeah, Jada Cam. And basically, so, anyways. We're going to be doing a 24 hour challenge. In a, in a, in a tent, in a swag. swag, in a swag, sorry. You, like, you may not think this is beautiful for the, kid, for the kids, but maybe it is for them, but this is so pretty. Like look at the sand. It's so pretty. Yeah. All those adults out there, I wish you were here to see it. Even though you're seeing it on camera, it looks better in real life. But yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Mm. Yeah, now let's go see and unpack the tent. And swag. Swag. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Well, let's go get the swag. And oh, set. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's go get the swag set up. So I guess we'll see you there. Bye. So what's, what's the deal, Jalen? So if I sleep in the swag for the whole night, if I don't sleep in the swag for the whole night, this much of my hair's getting cut off. Mm -hmm. And then for me, my tooth's getting pulled out. So he's got a very front tooth. Fun sitting out. He's going to get pulled tomorrow because these guys were so adamant about sleeping in a swag tonight. So we thought, well, you can. Why not? Give it a crack. They have to set it up. They have to pack it down, and they have to sleep in it for at least one night. So this could go terribly wrong or terribly good. <laughs> no, I got this. I got this. Oh! Do you want to put the uh, dinner in the microwave? <laughs> nope. There you go, put it in the hole. Hang on, one at a time. One at a time. Are you excited? Yeah. Just so, like super excited? Yeah. I'm a bit, I feel a bit weird though because I haven't been in a tent for a long time. What's it called? It's a swag. Oh. Watch my dad's fingers. <laughs> Same for me when I always put my dad's Yeah, keep going. Takes a bit of effort. This is the joys of setting up a swag. <laughs> eh? All these things you don't see and you don't experience. Ooh, yeah. It's hot. yeah. Up. We've just had we've had a bit of brekkie, 
We've been kicking around for a little while. Jack's out of sleep. Everyone's good to go now. So we thought we'd go for a bit of an explore because you can go right to the very tip that I know of right up here to where we are. So not sure what's involved. There's a bit of a few sand tracks and whatnot. So pretty keen to go up and check it out. Hopefully we've got somewhere to go fishing. So we've rigged up all the rods. We've got them on the roof. We've packed lunch. So yeah, full sand up here and uh, see what we can find. If you have a look up there, you can see the ocean and the cliff sides and it's just beautiful beach. So I'm keen to see what we can find when we go up that end. But how's the weather? So we got a bit of a mischief here. <laughs> that is a cruiser. So at this point, the tide is just way too high. The sand was super soft, so we just try our luck at fishing and wait for the tides to go down. Is today catch a fish day, babe? I think they're dolphins. Yeah, they are. So, sorry the story ended so abruptly before, but it was a bit disheartening. We tried to get it out a couple of times, it didn't work. So we've had to wait a couple of hours for the tide to go down. It's all changed now. And um, we're getting our new mean mother kid out. Hey babe. Yes. <laughs> First time ever being used, it's brand spanking new. It's still shiny, there's nothing. Is your dad? You're so strong, Ant. Yeah. Wait for this wave, and then I'll punch on. I'll let you know. Alright, uh, going now. First time with this set. Just quietly, it was a 200. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was good. It all worked out. We had to sit back, relax for a bit, and let that tire go out, but it was all worth it. It's just this wet sand, it just makes all the difference. Like, you can look back here on these tracks, we've barely made an indent at all. Compared to up here, and it's just soft, uh, so you just gotta be careful. Just one of those things joys of being on the beach, eh? Hey? And on that note, I'm done. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, what a day. We weren't even packed already and you know what the crazy thing is too, we actually had four max tracks on the roof 
which we had a key for on our car key ring. But Chris decided to be ultra careful and put a second padlock on it. And the second padlock is in our bloody caravan. So we couldn't use our max tracks. It was so safe, even I couldn't get them off. Oh, I'll tell you, I was pretty <laughs> shitty earlier. Oh, yeah. Sean's PMSing. <laughs> yeah, I'm PMS today, so nothing's all right. Amazing what a couple of dollars can do. Gets everyone excited. When everything's windy as and you can't have any more fun, you get some kites out. Whoa. So today's been so windy. Oh, comes in gusts and there's just like this red sand that's around us. Oh, it's too bright for that. The red sand that's around us, it just like blows in through the windows, it blows over the tables. Like if it can go there, it goes there. So it's the best day for the kites. And it costs $3 for each of them. So what, 12 bucks for a heap of fun. <laughs> How's the set up this afternoon? Sunset's just going over the horizon. We're all cooking, get the fire that? going. So this is cool, we got two Ziggies. So this is, this guys, we got the lamb on, lamb roast, looking absolutely divine. Oh, it looks good. Look at the sun, sunset going. We got the fire. And over here, we've got Ziggy number two. And we've got all the healthy stuff. All the veg. How good's that? I didn't think I'd ever have two Ziggies going at once. And then it's literally all happening. Just can't get over that. What a view. So even though you're enjoying the hell out of that sunset as much as we are, this is a very daunting time. Mm while you stay up here things are about to change dramatically and a whole wardrobe i have never seen so many in my entire life ever mosquitoes they are super super thick it is to the point where it is ridiculous you can't even walk outside without getting it's the worst smashed. the family we're with as well have agreed it's the worst they've ever seen in their life yeah mm. And it's, I, it's I don't think so many bad. people have seen these <laughs> mosquitoes this bad. It's we, ridiculous. We have the fire smoke, there's citronella candles, there were sandalwood incense sticks, and we had three different types of mosquito spray stuff on, and still we were getting bitten. Absolutely. Look at this. Look at the ants over here. Show us your bites, mate. Look at these. All up his feet. They're even on the bottom of his foot, even though his, his foot's orange. <laughs> but they're all the way up. Everywhere. It's just incre incredible. It's probably the only downfall of this location. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, today has been a bit... But then it doesn't mean it's going to be like this all the time. Well, but it is right now. I don't know. We've been here, what, three days now? Yeah, but as it dries up, you don't know. Yeah, we don't Maybe know. Maybe there's some old water near us. I don't know. If you're coming here at the same time as us, mm. this is what you're going to expect. <laughs> um, and then the other thing which will happen no matter when you come as well, because all the rock around us is iron ore, so it's very orange. Yeah, so the it orange feet. <laughs> Yeah, check out the feet on it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's feet are too. orange. It does come off. Yeah. As long as you wash yourself. It does come off. You just need to days. be clean. Yeah. But if you're going to do maybe a week up here, maybe make it five days because you might need a bit more water to clean everything. Another thing too, we thought we could get through without having to uh, bring out the Jenny. But I don't know if you can already hear it. <laughs> we got the Jenny going. So this is a new Jenny. We actually, for everybody that already knows, we had a champion. I can't remember what it was called. But it was, yeah, our old Jenny. We had that, did, it served us well up at the Cape. We did really good with that. Um, we've since upgraded. We've actually got this one from Anaconda. So I'll chuck in some links in below, but it's a Yamaha. I'll show you just quickly.
So that's the 2.2 Yamaha. So it runs at aircon and we can run a few little things on it as well. Uh, the one we had previously was only 2.1, so there's no massive difference between the two of them. But we are fully charged, but we're just running the aircon because it is, it's been quite hot where we're set up. That sun goes down there behind us and we get absolutely smashed. Um, we have gone a couple of nights without it, but geez, the generator's there. If you got it, you might as well use it. We've got plenty of fuel. We carry nothing but only fuel, so it works in our favor. And just to have a few hours of good air con, you can't complain about that, honestly. It, it works out really well. So yes, we got the generator out. It's serving us well at the moment, but going forward at this time of year and coming into the months that we are the weather's only going to get better and better so i'm hoping that we don't have to do too much of this and we get nice sunny days and we just keep that battery nice and charged and we don't have to worry about air con and we can just open some windows and all that sort of jazz so yeah really looking forward to that come here what's going on i've got something for you <laughs> oh are these antihistamines yes we're prepping there you go. So for, it. for anybody that doesn't know what that is, that's basically to help for the mosquitoes because they are just that bad. I can see them. I'm shutting the window. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> we honestly have, I'm going to take you over here real quick. We've got AeroGuard and we've got Bushman's. And then Bella's got another Bushman's, another type. We have every spray you could honestly think of, plus a fire. Uh -oh. We're going to get the citronella sticks out. We've got the sandalwood out. Like, there's nothing that beats them. They are just ruthless. So keep in mind, if you're here this time of year, keep in mind that you can be absolutely smashed and you just can't do anything about it. Last night we actually retreated into their van <laughs> for bloody the last drinks because he just couldn't sit outside it was just too bad Sean was in her she had her long pants on and she had her fishing shirt on just to try and combat them I've got mosquitoes and flies flying around me right now I've never ever in my entire life ever had that it's insane so hot tip heaps of flies and heaps of mosquitoes I don't know if you can see me, but we're just about to get dinner ready. So lamb's being chopped up, veggies are good to go. I've got a few roast potatoes in the fire. So I'll bring you around and show you them. If you've never done this before, highly recommend it. Bit of elf oil, wrap up the potatoes, throw them in for a good half hour or more. Just keep turning them, keep them nice and close to the fire. And they will come out absolutely amazing jacket potatoes so what we've actually done to combat these mosquitoes we're doing actually pretty good tonight we've got some green leaves here so they're just off a little bush around here I think they're eucalyptus because there's a nice smell coming out of it where we're just chucking a few bits of branches on there just for now and this is the one time in my life I've ever sat downwind from a fire but I'll tell you what it is a must and it's actually working. Cannot believe it. Actually believe it. So we're all, we've got all our chairs down. I don't know if you can see them. We've got all our chairs. So the fire can go between us without smashing us in the eyes. But it's enough to deter these ruthless mosquitoes. So it's nice looking pretty good. Jada and I have come down the shops this afternoon. We've got no boys with us. And um, I'm getting you're in the camera. Cut. It's okay. Something's happening. What's happening? I'm getting my hair cut. So before we left on this trip, she used to have really long hair similar to mine. Um, and then probably, I don't know, a few months before we left, I cut it off to about here because she was bothering me. She just wanted to get a bob and she's always asked for this bob. 
anyway um since we've been near the sea all the time it just makes a hair go dry and to look after it on the road is harder than i expected and i think harder than jada expected and it's just the sea and the salt is not doing good things so she asked again can i get a bob i said all right so that's what we're going to go do today we're going to cut all your hair off not all of it though not all of it but a lot of it so um she's getting like a little concave one so let's go do it what do you reckon i'm kind of a bit worried worried why i feel like that maybe one of the hairdressers is gonna make it look funny no they won't <laughs> i've i've d checked all the reviews we've got the best one in town as far as i can tell so it'd be fine and you know what even if it wasn't worst case guess what what it grows back that's true oh we could fix it because if there's like just one little bit that isn't trimmed a lot you just gotta trim it again yeah i can do that all right let's go do it Do you like the back? Yeah, I do. How cool is that? So what do you think about it? It's, it's I like it 100%. Yeah? Yeah. Happy, what is it called? A concave bob. Yeah, show us the back. It's a bit shorter. It's still a little bit frizzy in that. We're probably gonna have to give it a little wash and get rid of all the excess hair because she's yeah. dropping it everywhere at the moment. Mm -hmm. But you're happy, yeah? Yeah, I am. Yeah? You don't look very happy. Are you happy? Yes. Yeah. She looked pretty shocked when she first started having some hair cut off, but then after that it became excitement. What are you going to do with it? Can you still put it in a ponytail? Have you tried? Oh my god. Yeah, I can! Just. Oh, Just. how good is that? Hold on, I'm going to try. <laughs> You'd be like a little tiny <laughs> one now. I don't think it'll work. Ow. Show? Mama. <laughs> Just. Mama. Is it even going to be a ponytail? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> That's alright. At least you know if you don't want it in your face, you can still put it up. How good's that? Oh! So oh much hair. Yeah. Let's go wash your hair. We'll style it later. As you know, we were waiting for this present to come from Great Northern, and we didn't know what the hell it was going to be. But it is now sitting here right in front of me. Here it is. <laughs> the Great Northern carton from Great Northern itself. What the actual hell? Hey, how does it even work? Chris has been given a free carton from Great Northern. That's insane. It's blowing my mind. Absolutely blowing my mind. It just pays to be persistent <laughs> and do just do good quality content because uh, basically they're just and promote responsible drinking. Yeah, because basically at the end of the day, they just really appreciate the content that we're churning out for them their exact words and yeah they say this is a nice little reward for you <laughs> <laughs> a carton of cans great northern like someone at great northern decided i like you yeah i like what you do i'm gonna give you a carton of great northern <laughs> from great northern whoever you are thank you so much yeah. <laughs> really appreciate everything and i cannot wait to do further posts and promote you guys because he's basically going to become even more persistent now <laughs> oh you thought i was persistent before you should watch me now <laughs> no 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 uh, it's it's just we we like promoting and sharing things that we absolutely love yeah. and as everybody knows that watches us that great northern is always my first choice of beer and it always has been and always will be so thank you very much great northern i cannot appreciate more about what you've done and 
I uh, hopefully look forward to working with you guys in the future if anything was to come of this. And thanks to everybody out there for the hashtag and getting involved in this because I think it's helped out as well. Yeah, so remember, hashtag beers for big Oz. That's it. And um, yeah. Well, let's see how far we can take it. The one good thing about being in Broome for as long as we've been here is not Jack crying. <laughs> He's just woken up, so I don't, know, up. I don't know how he's going to go. Is it going to be really good or really average? Oh, we'll find out. Yeah. Um, but the one good thing about being here so long is that you get to see the staircase to the moon because yeah. you're here for enough of the full moon. Yeah, we're so. right in Smack Bang. There's three nights. We've got moons, so they get later and later. We're here at Smack Bang in the middle, the third, the second one, sorry. But on the second night, you've got all this sort of yeah, East Street sort of markets and stuff. So. so they actually do staircase to the moon markets, which yeah. we're going to come and check out tonight. We've been saving ourselves. So we're ready to eat. Yep. And then the staircase was at 6.50, I think. So that's an hour past his bedtime. So we'll He did see. have a little sleep in a car, which he doesn't. He hasn't had for a long time. So really hoping. We'll see what Really happens. hoping. <laughs> all right, let's go have a look around. Yeah. The combi keg. Yeah, it's my favourite colour. And if you lean forward, you get a photo. If you lean really forward on the steering wheel, oh, did you get a really good photo? Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> lean really far forward so I can see the side too. Oh, brum. Oh, brum, brum. You want to go on the brum, brum? He want to get in too. Jack wasn't going to let up until he got in the combi himself. Hey? Yeah. We should have known better. What are you doing? <gasps> Hi. You're in a He's obsessed with cars. Oh, like, obsessed. Brum, brum. <gasps> boom, boom. Boom, boom. How cool! <laughs> That's his new thing. He says door. He wants it shut. Hi. Thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> Beautiful. Cash or card? Ah, cash. Sorry. Yeah, it looks amazing. I like to be I like to be I like to be And the whole family and a killer view for the moon tonight. I have got a combination of three different things. Oh Not entirely sure what they all are. But I've got a bit of fried rice and some satay sticks. Oh yeah? Yeah. If you're lucky I might share one with you. I want a satay stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see Jack smash it in. Yeah, he's Jay's already eating. pumped through it. So they got little lemon M's in there. Yeah, I told Jada that. she can't open hers yet though, because once he knows what's in that bag, yeah. he won't eat his sausage. So it was a kid's hot dog. Yeah, six Just bucks. sausage and bread yeah. and M&M's. Six bucks. Six bucks. Six bucks. He's happy. I like that they haven't given me a lid, they've just put elf all over the top, because they have loaded this right up. How's that for a meal? 15 bucks. And there's like a beef curry, a chicken curry, Pat's all right, I'm pretty sure, and then rice. Ah! Oh, birdies! Can try him? Oh, sorry. Oh. Is it good? Fresh they donuts. They are fresh, they are actually proper fresh. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he just had a, he had a giggle of these. <laughs> That's funny. It's like mummy. It's like mummy when she gets changed in the morning. He just giggles at you. <laughs> oh my god, babies! <laughs> yeah. Do you find cars? Oh, bomb. <laughs> oh, bomb. So it's mine now. We have to pay for that. <laughs> you can't put it back now. You having that now? Yeah, I think. Is so. that yours? Just one. I quite like 
You got you need your money, Jack? Huh? Not real. Join us while we continue to explore the Dampier Peninsula and stay at Naumarung Retreat, where Chris shows you how he likes to build a fire, and we season our camp oven for the first time and try a pork roast. I take advantage of some free time and get creative with my macrame, while we all enjoy the pristine beach with white sand and clear shallow waters only accessible from the retreat.